hey there you awesome bipeds, quadrupeds, and even the occasional dinosaurs. It is I, Little Wolf. But, for this one I'm going to change a little bit around. Because I've heard a certain little biped out there who watches my videos to help her go to sleep calls me Uncle Wolf. And I heard that from her father in a different YouTube channel. And the thought of that just really touched my heart and knowing that it helps you sleep made me really want to make you your own video. And so little Katie, this video is specifically for you. And the cauldron's bubbling so we can probably go ahead and make you up a cup of hot chocolate. And I really hope you enjoy this video. And the heart on the wall is your name written down in my heart because you are an important little biped to me. And I really love that I help you go to sleep. And the fire will keep going through the video because I heard that the sound helps you relax and helps you go to sleep. You are such an amazing little biped that I've decided to do four cartoons instead of just three. So this is going to be a very special Vintage Cartoons Revisited. And to all you other bipeds, quadrupeds, and occasional dinosaurs that may be watching this video, I hope you enjoy it too. But this video is specifically for little Katie. And thank you so much for asking for my videos. And I thank your parents, Peter and Eva, for allowing me to make this video for you. And for coming into my den each time I put up a video and, then enjoy, uh, and enjoying them. So little Katie, I heard you enjoy Betty Boop. So, I went and found four different Betty Boop cartoons that do include some sort of a fairy tale within each one of them. And so the first one I found is a 1933 Betty Boo Snow White cartoon. And the oracle says, trouble starts when the queen's magic mirror says Betty Boop is the fairest. And Cab Calloway sings St. James Infirmary Blues. So, little Katie, as you watch this, either sit back and relax or lay down in your bed, and let's visit Betty Boop as she plays as Snow White. Made of pen and ink, she can win you with a wing. Yahoo! Ain't she cute? Boop, boop, be -doop. Sweet Betty. Magic mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? You're the fairest in the land. You're the fairest in the land. I want to see my stepmama, stepmama, stepmama. I want to see my stepmama. Her stepmama, the queen. Looking glass, looking glass, looking glass. I've heard about your 
looking glass. Oh, what it says is so. Magic mirror in my hand. Who's the fairest in the land? You're the fairest in the land. You're the fairest in the land. <laughs> Off with her head! Okay, Queen! <laughs> what a shame! Poor Betty! Always in the way I can never play My own mama would never say I'm always in the way Well, you might hide my face. <laughs> Folks, I'm going down to St. James Infirmary. Wherever she may be, she will search this wide world over, but she never find another sweet man like me. Now when I die, bear me in my straight leg breeches, put on a box back coat and a studs in a hat. Put a twenty dollar gold piece on my watch chain So you can let all the boys know I died standing past Then give me six crap shooting paw bearers Let a chorus girl sing me a song Put a red a hot jazz band in the top man's sweet grace Hallelujah, as we go along Folks, now that you have heard my story, say, boy, hand me over another shot of that blues. If anyone should ask you, tell them I got those St. James in very blue. <laughs> You're the fairest in the land.
Alright little Katie, I really hope you did enjoy Betty Boop playing as Snow White. And to follow along with that kind of a fairy tale theme, how about we see what it's like when she plays Little Red Riding Hood. And this is from 1931, and it's Betty Boop in Dizzy Red Riding Hood. And the oracle here says Betty Boop goes to Grandma's through the woods despite wolf warnings. But Bimbo follows and gives the story a new twist. So little Katie, how about we sit back and see what kind of a twist Bimbo is going to throw on this classic story. I hope you enjoy. Listen, my children, and you shall hear an exciting story of a little deer with thin red rumors of riding hood. Some are bad and some are good. Why do they pick on the poor little kid? Some say she didn't and some say she did. You surely heard the story before that she tried to keep the wolf from the door. How really true can the story be? Well, watch, my dears, and you will hear and see. A little fish for Grandma. Fish cakes for Grandma. May I go along with you? My mother wouldn't want me to. Oh. Or two. And 
here's a little tulip, a tulip, a tulip. And here's a little tulip that kissed by the morning dew. I think she'd like a pansy, a pansy, a pansy. I think she'd like a pansy. The fairies like them too. Grandma's gone to the fireman's ball. <laughs> Come in. Oh, Grandma. <laughs> The better to eat you. That's all there is, children. Goodbye. I always did like the old Little Red Riding Hood story, and I think it was pretty interesting to see what kind of a twist Bimbo threw into that story. So now, let's jump into our next cartoon picked out for you, and it's from 1933, and it's Betty Boop with Mother Goose Land. And it says here that in response to Betty Boop's wish, Mother Goose materializes from a book cover and gives her a tour. She's chased by a Miss Muffet spider who proves to be amorous, not predatory. So, let's jump into the land of Mother Goose and see what kind of fun Betty Boop has. Let it rain, let it snow, 
sat down beside her.
I hope you did enjoy that one, little Katie. And with our last and final Betty Boop cartoon, I wanted to make it a special one. And from what I've heard on the interwebs, it's the only Betty Boop cartoon that was put into color. And it is called Poor Cinderella, and it's from 1934. And it says here on the Oracle, in her only color cartoon, Betty Boop goes to the ball thanks to the good fairy. Later, only her foot fits in the glass slipper. And so I hope as Betty Boop becomes a princess, you slowly drift off into dreamland. So let's see what kind of a dreamland Betty Boop finds herself in as she plays Cinderella. Godmother, listen to me. Dry your little eyes, there is no need to cry at all. You're so kind and gentle, you'll go to the ball. Go fetch me a pumpkin, a large one, my dear. Six mice and two lizards, and bring them right here. You're 
can never be half as happy as we. I'm so overjoyed to be with you, and this is why I was almost cut up for pumpkin pie. Remember, when the clock strikes 12, you must be home by then. For should you fail to be in bed, you'll be in rags again. Remember, remember.
see, it's all your My fault. My fault, you impudent thing. Oh, shut up, you jealous. Oh. How dare you for two pins and I'd slap your face. Oh, you will with you. Yes, I will. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. I hope the cartoon with Betty Boo playing as Cinderella was very enjoyable for you. I had a good time picking out all of these cartoons specifically with you in mind, and I hope they do help you drift off to sleep and dream of fairy tales and everything else that comes with being a little princess. I'm so glad you're a little biped that calls me Uncle Wolf and I'm glad to have you in my little pack. I'm glad you enjoy my den and that I make it a safe and loving place for you. And I'm glad that your parents have allowed you to come in and enjoy it here. And they are always welcome to come to, anytime that they want to. And as kind of a little secret that I'm looking forward to in a later video, I have asked what your favorite story is, so maybe pick out one, two, or three stories that you like for bedtime stories, and maybe Uncle Wolf will see what he can do about finding them and reading them specifically for you. Little Katie, you are much loved by this wolf, and I am so happy you enjoy being in my den. It's exactly the place I wanted it to be. A place safe enough for even the little biped like you. And to all of you other bipeds, quadrupeds, and even occasional dinosaurs who visit my den and who have watched this set of cartoons with me, I thank you for letting me indulge a little bit in making a little biped happy because it makes me happy knowing that she enjoys my videos. And as I always say within each video, we do live on one planet, so let's at least try and be civil. And we have to continue to mask up, social distance, get our shots, and do everything we can to keep little ones like Katie safe, and make it into the next year and many years to come. Little Katie, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much, and you are always welcome in my den. And the rest of you bipeds, quadrupeds, and occasional dinosaurs are always welcome in my den too. I love all of you so much. And so until next time, Little Wolf, out.